Have you ever gone and picked up your phone and then swiped your way smack bang right into a spoiler? It can suck, especially when it's on a game or, or series that you really care about. Things haven't always been this way though. If we go back 25 years, it was much harder to be spoiled on a video game. I mean, if it wasn't being told to your face, it was most likely in a magazine or over the telephone. The type that didn't fit in your pocket. Either way, the ability to go viral was safe for the common cold, and most supposed leaks that did hit the street, well, they were told by some random uncle who worked at Nintendo. Fast forward to now, we have more ways than ever of clicking, swiping, scrolling, and stumbling across all sorts of spoilers. And when it comes to spoilers, the bigger the game, the harder they fall. The spoiler rulebook. Or lack thereof, I guess. It's something that we all have internally, a, a kind of, I guess a compass that we follow to what we post about and what we don't. And we kind of need that because when something juicy happens in a game, when something extra special happens that took your breath away or just got you extra excited about something, you want nothing else than, other than to share that with the world. But sharing that moment with everyone else means that you're now taking that moment away from someone if they haven't experienced it as well. And we can all stop ourselves from posting. We can choose to not share those things that take your breath away, that make you go, have you seen this? But should we? I mean, if we really got a lot of joy out of a moment, if it was something extra special to us, is that such a bad thing to share it? No matter my intentions, I hold myself accountable to not be a complete D-bag on the internet. The lines I would personally choose to draw may not be the same as everyone else's, but I think most of us can kind of agree that something like a story twist would probably sit above that line. I find that when it comes to the world of video games, that straight line kind of gets hit with even more curves when you introduce things like final bosses, characters, secrets, easter eggs. All of these things add an extra layer of complexity, an extra layer of possible spoilers for you to trip over. Uh, oh yeah, I've <laughs> done the tripping bit already, haven't I? So first up here, I have what I call my blacklist spoilers. Now these are the spoilers not just because they're on a blacklist, but because they're sort of the ones that I like to try to avoid the most from posting online. Think of them like stuff like story, the plot, the final boss. Posting these things online, generally, I, unless it's on a website or a YouTube video, you're gonna piss someone off. The reason I say websites and videos are a little bit of an exception here is that you can put a bit more of a spoiler warning before someone gets to the meat of your content. When you post something like this on social media, most of the time they've seen the spoiler before they get the chance to be warned about it. Also these blacklist spoilers I think are something that needs a fairly firm spoiler warning written on there somewhere. Unless it's something like maybe Star Wars, which most people know who Luke's father is at this stage. But in most other cases, these just always need that big warning there. Alrighty, let's head over to the whitelist spoilers, which actually are a bit of a grey area. I didn't have a grey board though, so I, we went with whitelist. That makes sense, doesn't it? So, grey area spoilers. These are things like your secrets, your easter eggs, even characters and, and things like Pokemon. It, sensitive to when they actually come out. The reason these fall into the grey area or my whitelist spoilers is because I think they're a bit more time sensitive. They're things that as time goes on you are pretty free to post about these without putting a spoiler warning on them. Things like secrets. On the first day if you put out the biggest secret about the game you might annoy someone who didn't want to know about that secret. But over time as people discover more and more about these people are going to end up knowing about the characters and other things that there isn't really many people left to spoil. I said people a lot in that sentence. The other category here that unfortunately doesn't have its own colourful board is leaks. These are basically spoilers with some lies thrown in for good measure, so you can't tell the difference. I think that these fall under a similar category, category to the, the blacklist. I don't think you should post about leaks, especially without a bare old spoiler warning on them, because people probably want to wait for the official trailers and official things to come out, rather than you being like, hey, look what I know first. Just my opinion on that. I found the unfortunate reality of being spoiled is that getting angry at some internet stranger won't bring back the innocence that I had moments ago. I can mute certain words on social media, stay away from random browsing, and surround myself with sites and friends that, that I trust. But even then, even after taking these drastic measures, spoilers can still slip through the cracks. 
with the bigger games more likely to be spoiled by some eager beaver, I find the best way to guarantee that purity of the first time is to turn off that phone, stay off the internet, and find a corner with your name on it.